here's our math problem for today. This is a very tricky geometry problem and the first time I attempted to solve this problem, I was visually tricked by this yellow circle. What we are given here is a quarter circle and inscribed in that quarter circle is this rectangle. Its width is three units and its height is four units. And we have here this yellow circle that is tangent to the rectangle and the radius and circumference of the quarter circle. Let's begin by constructing a diagonal of our inscribed rectangle. This diagonal is also a radius of our quarter circle. Now, since we have here a rectangle, this side here must be the same as this side with a length of three units because opposite sides of a rectangle are equal. Then let's consider this triangle. What we have here is a three by four right triangle. And so we now know that the radius of the quarter circle is five units. Since radii of the same circle are equal, then this length here must also be five units. Next, let's locate the center of the yellow circle. This line segment is the radius of this yellow circle and let's denote it with small r. So that means this line segment here is also small r. Let's construct a line segment from the center of the quarter circle passing through the center of our yellow circle and touching the circumference of the quarter circle. So this red line segment is also a radius of our quarter circle. And therefore, its dimension is also five units. Then let's construct this right triangle. Since the length of this red line segment is five units, but the hypotenuse of our right triangle is only up to point C, which is the center of our circle, we can find the length of the hypotenuse by subtracting five and the radius of our small circle. So therefore, the hypotenuse of this right triangle can be represented as 5 minus r. Similarly, for this length of the side of the right triangle, we already know that the dimension of this rectangle is 3 by 4. So the side here is 3 units plus the small r. They comprise the length of segment AB. So therefore, segment AB can be represented as 3 plus r. And segment BC is also a radius of the small yellow circle. So that's represented as small r. With this as our representation of the sides of the right triangle, we can now apply the Pythagorean formula in order to solve for r. So we now have the square of the hypotenuse, the quantity 5 minus r squared, is equal to the sum of the squares of the two legs of this right triangle. So we have the quantity 3 plus r squared plus r squared. At the left side, we have here a square of a binomial. We can simplify it by squaring the first term. Since we have here minus, we copy the minus sign and multiply 2 times the product of the first and the second terms. So 2 times 5 times r is 10r plus the square of the second term, r squared. That is also equal to the square of this binomial plus r squared. And expanding this binomial, we have the square of the first term, 9 plus twice the product of the first and the second terms, we have 2 times 3 times r, which is 6r, plus the square of the second term, r squared, and then copy r squared. Then gathering all like terms, we arrive at this equation. Since the highest degree here is 2, we want the leading coefficient here to become positive, so multiply both sides of the equation by negative 1, and rearranging, we arrive at r squared, plus 16r minus 16 equals 0. This is a quadratic equation which we can solve using quadratic formula. And so using quadratic formula and simplifying, we arrive at r sub 1 equals negative 8 plus 4 square root of 5 and r sub 2 equals negative 8 minus 4 square root of 5. Since we are talking here about the radius of the small circle, r cannot be negative. And so we disregard r sub 2 and we accept r sub 1 as our solution for the radius. Since we now have the value of the radius of the small circle, we can now compute for its area. So area is equal to pi r squared, where r is equal to negative 8 plus 4 squared of 5. Again, we have here a square of a binomial, which we can again expand. So copy pi, the square of negative 8 is positive 64. 
minus twice the product of negative 8 and 4 squared of 5 to get negative 64 squared of 5 plus the square of the second term. So the square of 4 times square root of 5 is 80. 64 plus 80 is 144, so we can simplify this farther this way. And so for our final answer, we have the quantity 144 minus 64 square root of 5 pi, which is approximately equal to 2.8 square units. And this is now the area of our small yellow circle.